uh, in the two and a bit years we've been to court appearance once. It's been adjourned and adjourned and adjourned and uh, they seem to be the ones that are delaying it. Um, and the confusing part for myself is two and a half years on, is there any more public interest in this? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. where is this at? Is it, it's just costing the taxpayers money. Yeah. Avi Mini for Rebel News in Shell Harbour Village on the south coast of New South Wales. I'm here at Village Fix, who, if you remember two years ago, we took on their case at fightthefines.com.au when police pounced on the owners for daring not to wear a mask. Thanks to your generosity at fightthefines.com.au, which we're still going to need some more, as you're going to hear in a moment. Thanks to your generosity. We've been fighting their fines for almost two years. June two years ago... Uh, 2021 was pretty much the first day the major lockdowns and mandates were put through. We were just running our cafe at the other location and the police came in and literally arrested myself on the Sunday, my wife on the Saturday prior for not wearing a mask, which we had previously spoken to lawyers about our condition and our uh, exemptions on those matters, had the paperwork on those days for the police because we knew they were going to come in. Uh, well, we had a feeling that they were going to come in. They weren't too interested in looking at the paperwork or really following anything that was on that day's legislation, and they arrested us. And now it's two and a half years on and we're still fighting it. <laughs> so that's, I guess, um, the confusing bit because the state has made a point to, to scrap a lot of these fines. Why are they still going after you, do you think? I think we were on the first day. Uh, they made an example of us. Um, and I feel like my impression is that we um, made an example of them. So they're trying to make sure that I guess we suffer a little bit for making an example of their uh, inability to know their own laws. Other than that, I've got no idea. They're just trying to really financially screw us over. Like the media were there hours before it was like they were set up to do what they did. Um, and because there was such high media around it, we had like 3,000 comments and you know on our Instagram and things like that that they they just really don't want to let us go with you know it's like they want to win and they want to make an example and make it look like we we were wrong and they were right basically that's what it feels like so it's a, a high profile it was a high profile case and and you feel that they're just making an example of you because of the na the high profile nature of it disregarded any documents that we've had, medical exemptions, they don't care, they just don't care what we've got, what our condition is or that we didn't have to show or share our personal information. They, they don't care about any of that. They just want to make sure that they set an example out of us. From the business point of view, you know, there's obviously a cost of living crisis at the moment. Yeah. What was the effect of the government's behaviour since then till now on your business and on, on you financially as, as a young family? Quarter trade, quarter trade of what we used to do. We were a thriving little business, um, a vibing business, which was my main thing. You know, finances come and go, but um, to bring communities together and have like relationships with people was my ultimate goal. Yes, financially we've dropped a lot, but just the sense of community has really dropped off as well. So, uh, and that has huge effect on everybody's business and mentality. With the previous landlord upping our rent a thousand dollars a month made it very hard for us to survive there and when we moved here people lost you know we had to move I think we had to move because of that if, it, if that didn't happen we would still be down there and thriving as a business so it's affected us financially in many ways yeah so you think that the landlord there really wanted you out essentially put up the price because of everything that happened yeah yeah now obviously it's it's been a long journey and uh I think one of the things I promised you back when we first took this matter on is that our viewers at fightthefines.com.au, we weren't going to let you pay for any of the fees. That wasn't going to be an additional problem you'd have to deal with. And I know now it's not as, I guess, sexy um, to push back because most restrictions have been dropped. So people that just feel free, they've forgotten about the past, but we're not going to. We're, we're going to stand by you as long as it takes and we're going to continue um, supporting you. What do you want to say to people that, are still supporting your fight now, two years later? Well, I don't think we would be able to do it financially or uh, mentally without the help of obviously Rebel News and fightafine.com.au. Um, fight 
the costs for a small business like us that um, just escalated, absolutely escalated, which is very difficult for a family of five. We've got three young kids to be able to afford those things. So, um, yeah, we wouldn't be in this position without your help. We're very, very, um, what's the word? Grateful. To, to, the, to the supporters that are actually donating. Like, we're, we're just, I guess, a platform in, in, in one way. But it is an us that get, we're, we're the ones that, that the fees come through and we pay those bills. If they're watching people that are supporting that are going to donate again now, knowing that, that this is still going on and this fight is still on, what would you say to them looking down the barrel of the camera? Uh, we need, thank you, basically. We need all your help, all your financial help, all your spiritual help, whatever help you can give us pretty much. Two and a half years or however long is a long journey for us to deal with. And it makes it a lot easier with... Uh, the help and support of you guys. Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> no. That's okay. But again, thank you so much for standing up. Thank you for being brave back then. And just know that your friends that, you know, our viewers that supported you back then are still there with you today and will continue to be there until the end if the state decides to pull their heads in and drop it or if they want to take the fight on, we're going we're gonna to fight alongside you, all right? Awesome. Thank you very much, Avi. If you think the world deserves to know what's still happening in the name of health, then make sure to like, comment, but most importantly, share it far and wide. Because as you recall, the mainstream media never gave these guys a fair go. And then if you want to help fight for the Aussie battlers, head over to fightthefines.com.au. Dig deep, give what you can, because this fight isn't ending anytime soon. Fightthefines.com.au. We cannot do this without your support.